All right, we're back 840, the rise of a new online shopping company. They're called Digitally Native Vertical Brands, V-Commerce for short. Take a look. These companies are born online and traditionally don't have brick and mortar stores. Instead, they rely heavily on social media to spread the word and make one-on-one -on -one attention a priority on their websites. That direct-to-consumer relationship helps reduce prices and maximize profits. V-commerce companies did $6.6 billion in sales in 2015 and are projected to hit $16 billion by 2020. To walk us through all of it is today financial editor Jean Chatsky. Jean, good morning. Good morning. I see that you went on a shopping spree. I really did, and I sort of wanted to show you the lay of the land for these v commerce companies. They figured out that companies want to have a real relationship with their customer and that the shopping experience should be experiential. So we've got things like the Peloton bike where you can take a spin class in your own home. This luggage from away where they have clued into the fact that nobody wants to have to find an outlet in an airport so you can use it to charge your luggage. There are a lot of companies that are solving problems. So we've got underwear from Tommy John and Third Love where they're, they're focusing on things like fit and a lot of companies too just key in on price. So Hubble contact lenses that are half the price, Harry Shave half the price and um, companies like Brandless where everything is three dollars. And they're, they're able to get those prices because it's direct to consumers. That's so right. are, you're going to give us some tips. First thing, I mean, how do we find them? How do you find these kinds of e-commerce companies? Sometimes they'll come to you. So you may receive a mailer in, in your snail mail that looks like a Val pack where there are a lot of different offers. They're marketing together. But the other thing you can do if you're looking for these type of companies is just Google the words direct to consumer with whatever it is you want to buy. So direct to consumer shoes, you may end up at a place like Everlane where they're very transparent about their um, process of making products and how much it actually costs them. How do you know if it's really, you know, good quality stuff as well? Yeah, well, you know by looking at the reviews and the reviews not necessarily on their websites. These are real yeah. companies that are really focused on social media. So you'll want to listen to your friends, look at your friends' social feeds. Glossier is a makeup line that has an edited line of products all over social media and that's how people are learning about it. But the one thing is the people, especially with online shopping, they want to try it on, they want to, it's, it's something with like glasses, you know, you or really- Or mattresses. Mattresses, how are you gonna send a mattress back? Well, they make it very, very easy. It comes in a box, it goes back in a box, and we've got products from Lisa here where you can test it out in your own home for 100 days. If you don't like it, you can go ahead and send it back and they will actually pay for it. Also, things like swimsuits from Andy. They're giving you a 30-day, I believe, free trial, three suits that you can try it on because nobody likes trying on swimsuits <laughs> in the store. No, nobody does because it doesn't look good, yes, right? in that mirror. <laughs> no matter how the lighting is or it looks too good. So um, it, it, next subject is, I guess, how we consider like the value proposition, right? I mean, how whether we're it, really getting a good deal. And that really depends on what you're buying. So I meant what you're buying. So I mentioned brand where everything is $3. Yeah. Some of their products are amazing deals. They're, they're lotions, they're beauty products. Others of their products, you compare their peanut butter, for example, to Jif. Jif is cheaper. You take into consideration, well, this is GM, non-GMO, this is all organic, and you make a call on your own. But, but they're not all an amazing value you really have to judge. You gotta do your homework. And then a lot of these are these subscription services, which I know a lot of people are into. Yeah, so the Hubble contacts, the Harry Shave, a lot of these things, they set you up and you're gonna get something almost every 30 days. You have to want it every 30 days, otherwise you're paying for things you don't use. So if you're one of those contact people, me, who gets daily contacts but wears them for more than one day, my eye doctor is not happy <laughs> right now. Right there with you. Know, you. Then you gotta slow it down in terms of the, in terms of the delivery. It's on you to cancel or reschedule. All right, Gene. Fascinating to hear about. Thank you so much. We'll check it out. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.